This is Indonesia di sekitarmu from Basa Basa Learning Center. Welcome back with me, Indy, and I will assist you in learning Indonesian today. Have you ever run into your Indonesian friends unexpectedly, only to find yourself lost for words? You probably have a list of questions you can use for a small talk, but too worried about the awkwardness if your friend found the question weird because of the cultural differences you both have? Well, fear not! In today's episode, we're going to talk about making small talk in the Indonesian language. We are going to equip you with several go-to phrases in small talk that you can use to build rapport with your Indonesian friends. So, grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's dive into it. Small talk in Indonesian culture is quite different compared to other countries. Generally, in some English-speaking countries, it is normal to say something to your friends regardless of their gender, like, looking good, dude, or you look amazing today. But in Indonesia, we don't really do that. Probably some people were okay with things, but yet some people would find it odd. So what are the phrases you normally use? I will give you some examples, both formal and informal phrases. The first one, I think is the starter of all conversation, is apa kabar. This phrase means, how are you in English? In doing a small talk, we Indonesia would respond to this kind of question by simply answering like Bai or Sehat in an informal context. However, in a more formal context, you can say Kabar saya bai. When you want to ask the same question to the other person, in a formal circumstance, it would be Bagaimana denganmu? Or in the informal version, you can say it like Kamu gimana? After that, the second phrase you can use is Sudah lama tidak bertemu, which means long time no see in English. To sound more casual, you can say this phrase like Sudah lama nggak ketemu. This one is actually context specific. You use it when you meet someone with whom you haven't seen in some period of time. However, if you just met your friend like yesterday or some days ago, you can skip this phrase. Next phrase is Sedang apa di sini? which means, what are you doing here, in English. This phrase is quite formal and still sounds natural to native Indonesian speakers if you use this phrase. However, the more casual, informal, and natural form of this phrase is Lagi ngapain di sini? Sudang and lagi in this type of question are synonymous. This question shows curiosity about your friend's purpose or activities in the current location. Using a friendly tone, this phrase creates a warm atmosphere for the conversation. Now, how to respond to this kind of question? It is easy. In a formal context, you can directly say Lagi nunggu teman without saying pronounce saya. But if you are asked by someone who is older than you, it is better to mention the pronoun to show politeness. So we will be Saya sedang menunggu teman. Alright, let's talk about the next phrase, which is Kamu mau pergi kemana? This phrase in English means, where are you going? For some foreigners, they may have different preferences to include this type of question in small talk. But in Indonesian, a number of people do this to show interest in others and engage in friendly conversation. To answer this type of question, you can say the place where you're heading to. For example, saya mau ke perpustakaan kota, or simply, mau ke perpustakaan kota. In English, it means, I'm going to the city library. The last phrase that is always included in small talk is the parting phrase. Now, the parting phrase in Indonesian is interesting. We do not really use sampai jumpa or selamat tinggal to say goodbye in our everyday conversations and it will sound unnatural for someone to use it. Instead, we use a phrase like, duluan ya. This one is quite tricky to translate because there is no direct equivalent translation for this phrase to English. The closest translation for this phrase is possibly, I'll go first. If you are having a small talk with older people or someone having higher status than ourselves, such as high positions at work, or just want to be polite to anyone, we normally do not initiate parting. We let others do it. Nevertheless, if you need to end the conversation, we usually apologize to others, briefly explain why you need to leave them, and then say goodbye to them. So, the expression will be, Mohon maaf, saya harus pergi dulu. Saya duluan ya. After saying this, we typically respond to this by saying, Baik, or silahkan, or 
Okay, dada. All right, those are five go-to phrases that you can use for having small talk in Indonesian. We understand that doing small talk is also about improvisation. So, if you want to know more about how to have a natural conversation in Indonesian and learn about Indonesian culture in doing conversations, make sure to always stay tuned on our YouTube channel, our Instagram, and our website at bahasa.id. We will cover other fun topics to help you learn the Indonesian language. But for now, I'll see you next time. Sampai jumpa.